All right, people, don't blame me, but there's another Ram Files video coming up. Hello, everybody. This is Michael Androsky. Now, like I said, don't blame me because I'm not a big fan of Ram Files episodes, but especially the ones that, unfortunately, that go with the topic that I like to Swift. But um, there's actually two videos I want to be showing you, which one of them that came out five years ago, and then... um. The one other video I'm going to be showing you, which is from the Watch Mojo video, which is the, which is the uh, top ten um, music ce musicians celebrities, though that they're all part of the the, the so-called Illuminati, and that will be today's episode of the one of the uh, One Files episodes. Now, before we begin, I have a little disclaimer: Do not blame me or tell me that the Illuminati is true. But like I said, between Taylor Swift, Lady Gaga, Beyonce, and all the other wannabes down at the uh, part of the Illuminati doesn't mean you're, you're perfect. Because the Illuminati happened thousands and thousands of years ago, if not a hundred years ago. And they're trying to tell people, including my older brother, that whatever music I listen to, Instead of listening to Mel Manson and Slipknot and Metallica and Jewish Priest, that half of my music is from the Illuminati. And not because I listen to some music from the Illuminati, but some things that people say in the tabloids or in the uh, or in a discussion video that between conspiracy theories or Illuminati um topics, that all of that messages and the topics itself alone is not true. So, just a little bit of caution. I still listen to Taylor Swift, Lady Gaga, Beyonce, and all the other artists that are featured in Illuminati. And I'm not in part of the Illuminati. I like them the, the way they are, and they put on great music, despite what of the music we listen to to this day. And I'm not. And I'm not. Saying that Lil Nas X is also the part of the Illuminati, but he's good too. So let's get to the video, shall we? We're going to look at most insane conspiracy theories that might be actually true. And I'm not going to call out the YouTube channel, but it's just the video I wanted to get through to in 2023. I won't do an update video, but I'll be in another time. But um, let's get into the video. Wanted my hepatitis C gone. I put off treating mine. <coughs> Epclusa treats all main types. We're looking at some of the strangest conspiracies. And one thing before we begin the video, YouTube has also updated their uh, the time time checkpoints, which if you see on the bottom it says intro, you can go you can skip through the chapters, which I'm not gonna go through the uh intro. Um the first one I'm gonna show you is Taylor Swift. Let me see. Um If I wanted to show you um, any other um, conspiracy theory, um, okay, I'm gonna just gonna show you the Taylor Swift theory first. Okay, so this is Taylor Swift. You guys probably know who she is, and this is Zena Levay. She is a Zena Levay is not Taylor and not a clone to Taylor Swift. Zena Levay, if you don't remember, is one half of the LeVay family, which Anton LeVay has, has has been called to be complaint to uh proclaim the Church of Satan. Now, if you look at um the video that's been rolling, um Taylor Swift does not look like Zena Zena LeVay, and Zena LeVay is, does not look like Taylor Swift. If you can zoom in here. Taylor Swift does not, Zena LeVay does not have blue eyes that Taylor Swift had. She has brown eyes. And it's impossible for Anton LeVay to have blue eyes because that's not something to talk about. So, my first, my first, my first, um, point, violation point, um, Zena LeVay is not Taylor Swift and Zena LeVay's eyes are not blue, they're brown. 
and also the daughter of the founder of the Church of Satan. Now let's go back to Taylor Swift. Now let's go back to Zena LaVey. Now let's compare them side by side. Look, different. Do you guys see any similarities? Now I'm not saying Taylor Swift is a Satanist, but I'm saying this is creeping me off. Yeah, what the hell? How do they look the same? Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Um, Taylor Swift is not a, um, a Satanist. She doesn't have any satanic um, messages or um, any um, key points in her music, but um, she's, uh, I think, I don't know if she's a Christian or her family practices in Christian, but um, her and her um, younger brother were only the two children of the Swift family, so. And also to close that out, um, Taylor Swift is not part of the conspiracy theory. And this next, in this one last video, I'm gonna show you. Um, it's the top ten celebrities supposed to be in Illuminati. Um, there's also time time checks, which I'm gonna f only show you the ones that are um, that I know that I'm gonna put for part one. Now the update, I'm gonna tell you in this other video, so let's get into it. And the only problem with these YouTube videos that you cannot skip 15 second ads, even though you can skip them, but this is stupid. And yes, I don't care about fucking Fortnite, you fucking dumbass. Members that made it big or members of a secret elite. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10. Okay, so the, uh, um, for the conspiracy theories and the Illuminati, um, topics. I'm going to show you, um, Madonna, Britney Spears, Lady Gaga, and then at 6 minutes and 25 seconds, which I'll do last, which is number 3, number 2, and number 1. If they're the ones I do not know, I will skip and turn down the volume and talk about how I feel. So, let's get started with number seven. Number seven, Madonna. She's into Kabbalah, an esoteric tradition originating in Judaism, and has a song ridiculing conspiracy theorists called Illuminati. I'll see I was watching tonight. That's what it is, truth and the light. In it, the superstar singer states that Jay-Z and Beyonce aren't Illuminati. As if these are classic disinformation tactics from the Queen of Pop. It's not Jay Z and Beyonce. It's not Nikki. Um, according to uh, a key point that somebody said in the in the uh, Church of Judaism, um, but in the, in their case, um, Madonna is offensive to uh, Judaism is in uh, Judith, uh, Judaism because um. Um, in their world of Judaism, it's part of the Antichrist. And again, the Antichrist video, I'll do in a separate video, which I'll do later this year. Um, Madonna is not a uh, act of violence, according to the Judaism. Even though she's like a sex figure, along with Marilyn Monroe, which she's a, she's a sex... Um, figure in the uh, 1960s but but for madonna she started in 1979 but her but her first album came out in 1983 the only problem with people telling that madonna is uh is considered um luminati's because um according to most people that she is part of the uh, antichrist but in her so much i i you already hear is that in the song the Illuminati from Rebel Heart, she thinks that, in her opinion, Beyonce and Jay-Z are not part of the Illuminati and does not promote any acts of devil worship or antichrist or even encounter. So we get so that's one key point. Wait. Come to think of it, Madonna's iconic cone bra was awfully triangular. Oh yes, cone bra. During the 1990 through the 1991 Blonde Ambition tour, the first half of the concert that she did from uh, 
the opening number to our arm um, like a virgin she wears a corn broad crop top which the uh the middle part is part is in the shape of a triangle which it resembles an illuminati but unfortunately that's not true that's part of a of a dress that she has a point where wearing a corn broad top which is part of the costumes from the Blonde Ambition Tour from 1990 through 1991. But that could be half true, half disagreement. And the Illuminati love triangles. Madonna has denied being a member, but also said she knows, quote, who the real Illuminati are. She claimed to be talking about Enlightenment intellectuals. But was this really... She also said she, she also said according to resources that she's not part of the Illuminati, but she knows who she is. Who knows who or what or how people are the Illuminati. So that'll conclude that. And the next one I'm gonna show you is Lady Gaga, which I'll do Britney Spears next. This, 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 number five. Number five, Lady Gaga. A lot of Illuminati conspiracy theories come from the religious right, so it's not surprising that they would target Lady Gaga. She's a supporter of LGBTQ rights, was once rumored. Yes, Lady Gaga is the uh, is an activist in the LGBT community. Um, according to most resources and most several people, um, for those people who are in the LGBT community, they think that the Illuminati is not true because um, parishes co confess people with LGBT figures saying that it's a sin to look different or sounds different. But for Lady Gaga, she wasn't a, uh, a trans woman or a, uh, a homosexual. She was born Stefani. She has, she had a female name that she is from Italian, from Italy, but her name is Stefani, um, Angeline, Joylene, something. I don't know, but so let's move on. Rumored to be transgender herself and calls her fans little monsters. Unfortunately, she's not transgender, but she, and she does call her fans little monsters because that's her fandom base. I think it's because my show is, is kind of like an exorcism. According to VigilantCitizen.com, the Illuminati has brainwashed Lady Gaga into popularizing the idea that mindless robotic vacuity is cool. Um, that's not true because people, people there's some, a couple of pro, people protest at concerts and saying that some acts promotes um, satanic um, activity, which... Um, she, she said in the uh, interview that uh, when people come to the, her show at a Lady Gaga concert, people are just going to protest saying that her Lady, the Lady Gaga concerts promote an exorcism um, trial, which is not true because um, if you see the movie The Exorcist from 1973, um, I'll do that in the separate video. That movie is a unique movie, so... Uh, it's nothing similar or the same as the Exorcist movie. They're just, it's just about politics and people think everything is 50-50 and even Steven, which is stupid. So that concludes that. Let's go to the last three and see what would happen. It is the first step. Number three, Eminem. According to Illuminati conspiracy theorists. Okay, no, number three is Eminem, which I'm going to talk about in this other video. Rihanna's number two. I'm going to show you the last one. Okay. Um, that will do for the uh, Illuminati video of Taylor Swift and other celebrities. Um, just so you know, um, Beyonce was not featured in this. But um, like I said, um, the number one pick does talk about Jay -Z, talk about Jay-Z and Beyonce included with this video. But like I said... If you think people in the Illuminati and they practicing evil stuff, some people are Christians, some people are um, an atheist, some people are just thinking even Stephen and Fifty Fifty that everything is shit. But it's stupid. Fuck them. And now, do for my little Red Fires episode of the Illuminati. 
If you have any questions, leave in the comments below, but don't be so tacky or offensive. So, um, that'll do it for the video, and I hope you enjoyed this little, um, little video of the Illuminati and Taylor Swift and all these conspiracy theories and music. I'll be doing more of these in the sub in the sub video, but I just don't know when, but you get the idea. So, thanks for watching the video, and have a great day. Vlog you later. And if you like this video or any other of my other videos, comment, rate, subscribe, and share for more. And I'll do more videos for this in the future. Thank you very much.